Let's prepare on the TNTRB Polytechnic Exam 2012 Civil Engineering Question Paper. Question number 31. In an elastic system, the external work done by a force PI during the deformations caused by another force PJ is equal to the external work done by the force PJ during the deformations caused by PA is stated by what? So we have studied this theorem uh, you know, strength of materials. So if you are taking a frame means the deflection or the deformation caused by one force will be equal to the deformation caused by the another force in the same beam. So this theory is actually dealt by the Maxwell Betty. So option C is the right answer. Question number 32. A simply supported beam of span 24 meter is to be designed to carry a central concentrated load of 200 kN. So it is a simply supported beam with central load. If 40 cm is the dip of the cable at the loading point from the neutral axis, then the effective pre-stress is what? So here the pre-stressing force into the dip will give you WL by 4. Okay, So P will be equal to uh, 200 that is the load into 24 by 4 into dip. Dip is given as 40 cm. So I have written as 0.4 so that the answer will be 3000 kN. So option B is the right answer. Question number 33. Uh, the batten plates used to connect the components of built up column are designed to resist what? So here it is designed to resist both the longitudinal shear and the moment arising from the transverse shear. Question 34. A steel plate is 300 mm wide and 40 mm thick is connected using 24 mm dia bolts of 3 numbers. The net sectional area of the plate is what? So here the width of the plate is given and thickness is given and three number of 24 mm dia is, uh, bolt is given here. So this is the uh, formula for finding the net sectional area B into ND into T. So here B is the width that is 300 mm and N is the number of bolts into the diameter of the bolt. So 3 into 24 mm uh, dia bolt is given. So always we have to add 2 mm to the bolt when we are calculating the area. So it is 26 given here into the thickness that is 40 mm. So the answer you will be getting is 8880 mm square. But this option is not given in the answer. I have referred the textbook also. Uh, the formula is the same only but the answer we are getting is not given in the option. And they are giving uh, 8940 mm square as the answer which is nearer to the answer we just found. So if anybody know uh, how accurately this 8940 comes means you can give it in the comment section. Question 35. The use of concordant cables in the pre-stressed continuous beams induces what? So here actually it induces no initial support reactions. Then question 36. Losses in pre-stress in pre-tension beams are more than the losses in the post-tension beams due to what? So here answer A is the right answer. Effect of elastic shortening and this occurs only in the uh, pre-tension beams. And question number 37. A steel beam is replaced by a corresponding aluminium beam of same cross-sectional shape and dimension and is subjected to the same loading. Then the maximum bending stress now will be what? So here it is unaltered only. Question number 38. The base plate of a roof truss is attached to the concrete pad with the help of 16 mm dia anchor bolts of grade Fe 250 MPA. What is the maximum pull that the base can be subjected? if the root dia is 0.75 times the shank dia. So here to find the pull we have just uh, multiplying the area into the uh, strength that is 250 MPa they have given no that stress. Okay so here they have given that it is uh, 0.75 times the shank dia no so you have to multiply that 0.75 with the area and also as it is a bearing base we have to multiply 0.75 into the stress also. So 0.75 into pi by 4 d square where d is 16 mm and 0.75 into 250 you will get 28,260 newton. So it is converted to kilo newton 28.3 kilo newton. So here option B is the right answer. Question 39. The behavior of an over reinforced beam is more ductile than that of the under reinforced beam because over reinforced beam contains D. The statement itself is wrong. Because 
the under reinforced beam only actually uh, it ductiles when due to the when the failure occurs because in the under reinforced structure the steel will be lower so that when the uh, structure goes to failure first the steel only gets failure first before the concrete so when the steel gets failure it starts bending and the ductile failure happens and this is alarming for the uh, building okay so this is a good condition also whereas in over reinforced beams the reinforcement will be more so that first failure will be happening to concrete so that without a bending or without an alert itself the building will be uh, started to collapsing so always under reinforced beams or under reinforced structure is only preferable in the construction question 40 the load carrying capacity of a column designed by a working stress method is 500 kilo newton the ultimate load of the column is what so for finding the ultimate load of the column 500 is has to be multiplied with 1.5 times so that it is 750 kilo newton option c thank you and keep watching